Right now, senators on Capitol Hill preparing to vote on a bill that would expand voting rights in the U.S. The crucial vote comes as several states are passing laws to restrict voter access. CBS 46's Haley Mason joins us live tonight. And Haley, this bill is expected to fail. That's right, Sean. We are not expecting this federal election reform bill to pass uh, in Congress today. But right now, the effort seems to be getting lawmakers unified between Democrats. They've struggled to become unified today and Republicans, though, unified against this measure. It takes 60 votes to start that debate. Gaining the late support of moderate West Virginia Senator Joe Manchin this afternoon, Senator Chuck Schumer says he's pushing forward with the federal voting rights bill, even though Republicans plan to block it through a possible filibuster. And they don't want to talk about it. They want to sweep it under the rug and hope that Americans don't hear about it. But Americans will hear about it. The quote for the People Act would create a national automatic system for registering voters and establish a national standard for mail-in and absentee ballots. It's the latest version of the so-called For the People Act, which is a massive, massive takeover, federal takeover of election law. It would possibly override some provisions of Georgia's new election law that tightens ballot drop box and absentee ballot rules. Senator Raphael Warnock today made an impassioned speech on the Senate floor with Georgia as a focus. Since I spoke here in, Georgia, in March, Georgia and 13 other states have enacted these voter suppression bills into law, 14 in total. That's 14 states. There's now a provision in SB 202 that allows partisan actors at the state level to take over the board, to take it over, to take over the process at the local level. As voters are casting their ballots, imagine that. Republicans, though, unanimously plan to oppose the legislation. Today, the Senate's going to fulfill our founding purpose, stop the partisan power grab and reject S-1. Even with unity now amongst Democrats, there will not likely be enough votes to move the bill forward. And this afternoon, I am talking to our state lawmakers who have fought on both sides of Georgia's controversial new election law. We talk about how this bill could ultimately impact Georgia's election rules. Reporting live at the state capitol, Haley Mason, CBS 46 News. Haley, thank